So let me begin by asking you a simple question. Look at the screen. You can see a form, the student data form. So what's the difference between this form and this one? So we have this form and we also have, sorry, we have this one and we also have this one. So what's the difference between these two forms? One of them is template driven and one of them is reactive. Now, looking at the UI, you will not observe any difference because based on the UI, there is no difference. The difference comes from how they relate with the model or with the TypeScript file at the back end, and also how this form is built from the HTML markup. For now, I'm going to show you the markup for these two forms. They are the same for now. They are not reactive or template driven. They are just forms, HTML forms. And this is the markup for these two forms. Let's start from the easy one, the template driven form. Now this demo I'm doing now, the step-by-step -step is right here in my website. All the procedure for this demo or until I built it till this point is in the website. So for now, I'm trying to talk about difference between template driven form and reactive form. I'm not talking about how to do CSS or how to do HTML at this point. Now I've built this form and this is a markup. You can now go through if you want. Let's now first talk about how do you bind data in the drop-down list. If you look at the screen, let me try to reduce the size of this. Okay. So if you look at the screen, you have this country is a drop down. For now, there is nothing in there. And at this point, I'm going to close the reactive. Let's focus on the template driven and later we come back to the reactive. Let's first handle how to bind data to the drop down list. To bind data to the drop down list, you first need to declare, define a list of items you would like to bind. And to do that, I have I have to I have created a list of countries. So I'm going to go to the uh, we are in the template driven form, the, the TypeScript file, and I'm going to simply uh, let me just enter it here. Okay, so I declare a list of countries made up of about six countries. Okay. Now to bind it to the drop down, I'm going to go back to the drop down. Now this is a drop down. This is a basic select list. Sorry, this is a, yeah, this is a select list. So I'm going to kind of first, uh, sorry, let me just first I'm going to drop down like this so that it becomes clearer. And now I'm going to add the option slash option and then use ng4 to loop through the list of countries in the file. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, subscribe so that you, get, you don't miss any update. And also, if you have any challenges, do let me know. I'm going to give you any assistance you might need. If you like this video, also uh, let me know and leave me a thumbs up, uh, like uh, like it as well. So I'm going to paste this. So we have ng4 is equal to let country of countries. So now it tells us unresolved that I'm going to create a field uh so we are in the reactive form okay sorry um okay we are in the reactive form so let's see um okay so i, I made a mistake i'm working on the reactive form so i'm going to go away from the reactive form let's focus let's go to the template driven form so this is a template driven form and this is a markup for the template driven form okay so we have this select slash select i'm going to simply put the option there Okay, so for country in countries at this time, uh, you will see a list of countries displayed if I simply save this page. It's as simple as that. So we've been able to bind. We can see the list of countries now displayed in the dropdown. Simply create a list of countries or list of options you want, you want. And then use ng4, as you can see right here. You can see ng4 is equal to let country in countries. And then this is a markup for individual countries. Okay, let's move to the next part. How do we now bind these templates to actual data? Okay, so now we have this template that displays a list, a student object. Let's say it displays a student. Now this student data, so for us to display a student record, we need a student uh, object a stu or a student class, okay? So the first thing we want to do according to this step is to create a student class and I'm going to copy this at this point. So one way you can create a class, you can create it in a different file or you can create it in the same file. So in this, in this, in this particular case, I'm going to create it in 
uh, in a different file. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it students.ts. So it's going to be a TypeScript file, and I'm simply going to paste it right, paste the the class right into the file. Okay, and I'm going to save. Okay, perfect. The next thing we want to do is to create a new student, right? So we simply instantiate a new student using new student and assign it some data. So I'm going to close this class and I'm going to go back to the to the model. I'm going to now I can create this student anywhere. Let me create it inside the on init. The on init actually executes when the component comes to life. So let me create this new student here. I'm calling this student model. So instead of wasting time, I'm going to simply copy this and paste. Okay. So I'm copying and pasting at this point. So it tells us model da da da. So I'm going to import statement, import the student class into this place, and then we create a new field model which is of type student. Okay. So at this point, we have created a new student object. How then do we bind this new student object? to the form so that it displays on the form to do that we have to create a two-way binding so that when something changes in the model it updates the ui or the dom element and also if somebody changes something in the ui by typing something or changing the input it will also reflect in the back end or in the in the model so let me kind of uh, adjust this so that you can it becomes a bit clearer so this is what we have so we simply created a new student object. Now these dot countries too refer to Nigeria, which is 0, 1, 2, based on the array index. So to add, to bind the model, this object to the UI, we simply use some we simply say something like this. Uh, we simply add first a name to the HTML controls. So for instance, when shift this one back a little bit so for instance when we have this name you simply say name name give it a name equal to so in this case I'm it's going to be name and you also specify ng model so it's in this case to, to create a two-way binding you are going to say ng model so ng model now what i did now i'm going to explain to you is a one-way binding so we are going to fix it in any moment now so here we have um model that name dot name okay and in this case we're going to just import forms model that is fine we also do the same thing for the department now i'm going to uh, I think I have the department here, so I'm going to simply copy it and paste it right here. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay, so I don't know what is happening to my keyboard today. So I'm going to simply type it out. I'm going to say name is equal to department and ng model use this one now there are two of them uh, i think i can just give it away the second one this one is for two-way binding and the, the other one is for one-way binding so let's take note let's not uh it's going to be model dot department okay so model dot department so let's do the two-way binding here so that it becomes clear okay so this is two-way binding okay and finally we do the same thing for the country and in this case, in this the select control, we're going to say name is equal to country and ng model is equal to country as well. Okay. So at this point, we've created a sorry is equal to model dot country. So we've completed creating a two-way binding between the two uh, between the model and the form. So let's go ahead to save everything, and then we, go, we are going to test it. Okay. This error occurs. Okay, there is one more thing we need to do. Synchronizing between the model and the form, we need to have uh, the name of the form given to it. So we are going to go to the form there. At this point, we are going to say, simply give it a name like this. 
So I called it to the form. That's the name of this form, okay? And it's going to be ng form imported from um, uh, the reactive model. Okay, so the reactive model will understand that this is a template driven form. And now what we want to do is when someone clicks on submit, we want to send the data in this form, the data in this form to the back end. So I'm going to say uh, on click, say click equal to send okay and we need to write a function just to uh i'm going to create a method called send so this method at this point i'm going to simply say console console.log so i'm going to kind of adjust this this dot model okay so now we've created a two-way binding between the form and the ui between the form, the UI, and the model. Now let's test it out to see what we have. So if I go to this, the form at this point, you can see that it displays everything. If I go to the model and I change up something, let's say I change my name to Tech Pro. Let me just change my name at this point to Tech Pro. And I save, you can see that it will also update immediately in the UI. And now, let's now check whether the ui actually also updates the other side so at this point i'm going to open the the console by using using inspect if i click on submit you can see the data is submitted right here what we have on the display is submitted right here and now if i change the country to let's change the country to india at this point and I submit again, you can see that the country actually changes to India. So we have a two-way binding between the, U, uh, between the DOM, the UI, and the model at the back end at this point. Hopefully this is very clear to you. If not, take some time to go through the tutorial step-by-step uh, step here and try to do this yourself and make sure you understand it. Now let's move on to the next part and that will be reactive forms. That is also a very interesting kind of form. Like, let's now do it in the next part because uh, I have time limit for these videos. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, also share it around and also feel free to let me know if you have any challenge whatsoever.